Welcome back to Contention on ADH TV. I'm James Mathias. Today, we reveal how the supposedly clean energy industry in Australia is involved in deforestation of the Amazon forest and, even more alarmingly, slave labour in Latin America. This is the dark side of the renewable industry that is hidden from you by its sanctimonious proponents. They just want you to see the burgeoning forests of windmills emerging around Australia, their blades spinning gently in the breeze and think, how clean, how ethical, how good for the environment. Well, they are none of these things. The blades in these windmills include large amounts of balsa wood, the light, soft timber you probably recall using to make model planes at school as a child. 95% of the world's balsa wood comes from Ecuador and Peru. Of that, 50% is sent to China for use in, get this, windmill blades. And what sort of conditions do the timber workers employed to chop down this balsa wood enjoy? In a report titled, Addressing Modern Slavery in the Clean Energy Sector released last year, the Australian Clean Energy Council said that workers experienced, quote, substandard labour conditions, with payment allegedly made, at least partially, in the form of alcohol and drugs. Workers paid with drugs? It doesn't stop there. The environment is getting wasted too. In just two years, Peru has gone from harvesting no balsa wood to more than 40,000 cubic metres a year. One estimate says that between 37% and 90% of all the timber coming out of Peru, including the balsa, is illegally felled. Alarmingly, these chopped logs don't come from big companies controlling output through registered plantations. Instead, 64% is believed to come from land occupied by indigenous communities and the other 37% from private land, where Peruvian law requires no logging permits, only a vague transport permit once the wood has been cut down. One indigenous community has been complaining since 2020 that Ecuadorian loggers have been entering their land, chopping down their trees and sending them downriver to Ecuador. Needless to say, the illegal loggers are not friendly towards any of the locals objecting to their activities. Even the Clean Energy Council can't pretend this isn't happening. Its report says, quote, the increase in Amazonian logging to meet this demand has also led to concerns of deforestation and the incursion upon the land rights of the local indigenous population. When the balsa arrives in China, it begins its dark association with slave labor. China's largest wind turbine maker is Goldwind which is based in Beijing, but manufactures a lot of its products in the northwest Xinjiang province. Xinjiang is, of course, where ethnic minority Uyghur people live and are often forced into slave labor camps by the communist regime. The United States prohibits the importation of anything made in the province where it cannot be certified slaves weren't used. Goldwyn was found to have probable links to slavery in a report by Hong Kong Watch and Sheffield Hallam University. This caused one of Goldwyn's foreign investors, German asset firm Ebb Sim, to divest from the company altogether in mid-October last year, saying Goldwyn's claims about ethical employment, quote, were not credible. Why is this all relevant to Australia? Goldwind has an Australian subsidiary, Goldwind Australia, with two main offices in Sydney and Melbourne. They operate seven wind farms in Australia, have two under construction and three more planned. That is, they currently have 493 windmills in Australia, another 105 in construction and 159 more slated to be installed in the next five years. Goldwyn's largest project is the 148 turbine wind farm Stockyard Hill in Victoria. That was launched in 2018 by none other than Chinese Belt and Road Premier himself, 
Dan Andrews, who is also one of the few politicians in Australia who could challenge Federal in Energy Minister Chris Bowen for a surprisingly irrational devotion to windmills. Like all Australian companies earning more than $100 million in revenue, Goldwind has submitted annual modern slavery statements outlining its measures that it's taken to ensure none of its supply chains use slave labour. Goldwind has also said, quote, our supplier, Goldwind International, has manufacturing centres throughout China, including in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. The lack of transparency in that region means we can only take Goldwind's word, that is, Slavery is not evolved, involved in any of its manufacturing processes. All this, so environmentalists in Australia can experience a fleeting feeling of smugness every time they see a windmill. That's all from me. For more news and opinion, check out adh.tv to stay up to date with the best common sense commentary in Australia. I'm James Mathias. I'll talk to you next week. <laughs>